It's Wednesday, April 3rd, 2013. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Rutgers men's basketball coach Mike Rice fired this morning amid growing controversy over his physical and verbal abuse of players. Video footage published by ESPN shows Rice shoving, kicking, and berating players during practice. Let's take a very quick look. It gives you just a quick indication. Our Wall Street Journal sports reporter, Jonathan Clegg, he has been following this fast-moving story, and he joins me right now. We just saw a very short snippet of this, but in this longer video, you can really see him hurling a basketball, uh, hurling epithets at people, uh, not very nice, nice names. Yesterday, the athletic director said he was going to keep his job. Today, Rutgers announces on Twitter he will not. Why the about face? Well, I, th I think it's probably to do, to do with the fact that this this tape, this footage has got a lot more negative reaction than they expected. Um, uh, Rutgers w were first made aware of this behavior, they first made aware of this footage back in November. They, they suspended and, and fined the coach, but chose to allow him to keep his job. A three-game suspension, $50,000 fine, so not That's too right. onerous. M mandatory counseling, he was put under monitoring, his, his practices were monitored subsequently. Right, not too onerous, but but I think when the footage was aired yesterday, that they, the negative reaction was so um, so great that, that the outrage was so uh, widespread on on social media that they really had no choice but to but to release him today. And we had people commenting from LeBron James weighing in, uh, Governor Chris Christie. Rutgers is a state school. That's Governor right. Chris Christie weighed in yesterday, and in fact, Governor Chris Christie weighed in today after this firing, basically saying that this was a regrettable episode for the university. But I completely support the decision to remove. Coach Rice, it was a right and necessary action to take in light of the conduct displayed on the videotape. So this, the fact that this went public is really, as you're saying, what's what's driving this. The athletic director, uh, Tim Pernetti, now he has been under scrutiny as well because he was the one who sort of uh, meted out this punishment last year that some people don't think was enough in light of uh, what they're seeing now on this video. Is, he, is there any pressure to have him removed? Certainly there are a lot of people calling for him to be removed, but I think the university has sort of uh, responded to those criticisms today. Um, the uh, school president, Robert Barch, he released a statement today when he explained that the decision to uh, suspend and fine the coach rather than fire him back in December was taken after the result of an internal investigation, that the, uh, the recommendations and findings by that investigator were that he should not be fined, that, he should, that the suspension and the fine was an, was an adequate punishment for right. what had gone on. And, and so I think that, and he also said that the decision today was taken jointly, that he, the president had taken that jointly with Tim Panetti. So I think that the, in a way Rutgers is trying to, um, to protect uh, Tim Panetti and, and, and I, and, and right. shield him and from some of the from we, some of the criticism. We were just looking a moment ago at a, at a statement from the president. We also uh, there, Tim Pernetti having sort of an about face in his statement today, saying, right. "You know, I had thought it was in the best interest of everyone to rehabilitate, but I was wrong. Moving forward, I will work to regain the trust of the Rutgers community." So, uh, mea culpa there on his, on his part. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about you know where this falls into the context of of uh, the performance of Mike Rice. I mean, his record was 44 and 51, not exactly uh, a blockbuster record here, but Rutgers about to move into the Big Ten Conference. Did they just have no choice, Jonathan, but to let him go? Because when you're trying to recruit the best players coming in there, what mom and what dad is going to let their, 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 their kid want to go to Rutgers after seeing that? I think that's what it boils down to. I think that, that in the end, the, the, the negative effect it would have had on their recruiting meant that, that they, were, they were left with absolutely no choice but to fire him. But, um, but I, I think it, it is interesting that, as you note, that, that he, this is not Bob Knight we're talking about right. here. It, it, that <laughs> makes it all the more surpri surprising that they didn't terminate him in, right in December when all this first came to light. It right. makes the, the, the school's decision to keep him a little bit more confusing. Is it because at all, perhaps, you know, one of the, the things that people are weighing online and in social media right now is, is this just not uh, part of the culture of basketball out there in many other pockets and that this time he just got caught? That, that may well be the case. That may well be the case. And it's, I think it's also true that athletic directors are notoriously reluctant to, to fire coaches that they've hired. It looks right. bad on them if they end up having to fire a coach that they brought to the university. So that may have played into it as well. Um, you know, I, don't, I don't think we'll know why they decided to keep him. Uh, you know, until um, until those facts come to light. Oh, the end result is he is not there any longer. All right, thank you, Jonathan, for being with us. More on WSJ.com.